Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova Instruments again, and now I'm looking at the uh, Model 49 IQ Ozone Analyzer, the next generation after the Model 49 I series, Ozone Instrument as well. Um, as the other instruments I've been posting, this has again it has a centered touch screen with a USB port at the bottom for easy access to the data. Just a thumb drive again in here, just to pull off the data. And again, you can still use the laptop if you want to do that as well. Coming around the side, <clears throat> again, lots of changes on this instrument uh, as, as on the previous ones I've been posting. They've done a great job at putting the reaction cells for these instruments, whether it's H2S, SO2, and now ozone. So to get the cell A and cell B centered on the instrument, instead of it being up tight to the side of the panel, and easy access as well. Uh, the detectors have been changed a bit, I can see on here as well, your cell A and cell B detector is a modified block right here. And on the back side you've got the uh, the light intensity lamp that sends light down both cells for ozone detection. And they've done uh, an improvement here, they've put a little uh, heater cover over the back end of this instrument to, to protect that heated block, which is a, a great idea uh, from the previous instrument, so this will help maintain the heat and, uh, in stations that have trouble with climate controlled air quality stations, which often happens out in the field. So it helps the instrument maintain the heat on this, on this block as well. Uh, flow and pressure. Again, they've changed the uh, flow sensors and pressure sensors. They've eliminated them. They've gone with this capillary assembly with the, uh, the pressure being differential pressure being measured across them and flow and pressure coming off of this circuit board here. As well. So a great improvement over those previous uh, flow and pressure sensors. Coming around the side, uh, still have the ozone scrubber, and now it's mounted towards the back of the instrument. And then you have these switching solenoids for the reference sample uh, switching modes that occur on this uh, ozone instrument. So you have the three solenoids here. DC pump, again, they've gone away from the uh, AC powered pumps that generated a lot of vibration and heat. Uh, now they've gone with these quiet, uh, low heat DC powered pumps. And again, easy to maintain them because it's just four simple screws to get at the diaphragm right underneath this panel. So easy to do a pump rebuild in the field, no problem at all. Pressure regulator. <clears throat> so as the previous ozone instruments, they have to have a, a pump pushing air into the back uh, for the daily span. So it has to have pressurized pump air coming in, and this is a regulator, as it was in the pre as it was in the previous instruments. They had a regulator to control that pressure of that pump. And the reason for that is so that the daily span ozonator will get air to uh, send ozone into the reaction sink chambers as well here. So this is the, uh, this as it was in the previous instrument, this is your, your daily span ozonator. So there's the ozone uh, lamp down at the bottom, and this whole chamber is your ozonator chamber to do uh, daily span checks on this instrument. So a lot of changes again, uh, lots of great improvements on these uh, IQ series. And coming around the back, it's similar to the uh, other IQs that I've been posting videos on. Uh, exhaust, zero sample, and lots of blank panels for expansions. Uh, the fan is over here on this instrument. Again, it says standard Ethernet Modbus and two USB ports. So this is standard on all the IQ analyzers, power cord and the fuse underneath. Coming around the side, as on all the previous IQ instruments, uh, they've standardized this whole side as they did with the i-series. I uh, the boards are very modular. Again, this instrument was ordered without the option of RS-232, uh, analog output and uh, digital input control. So they chose not to purchase this to help reduce cost, but you can see where the boards would go in those three sockets down below. And they've done a big improvement to the motherboard, to the CPU, which is all centralized here. And the power supply again is different from the I, I series now. It's a more robust looking uh, DC power supply. So again, lots of changes on the electronics. Going back around the front again, you can still pull off the front panel for easy access to the display. If you ever had to service the DE uh, display, simply pop that off for uh, quick maintenance if you ever had to troubleshoot the uh, touchscreen display. And just a better look at the, uh, the front of the instrument. Your power switch, and you can see the USB port right here as well. And all this is is just uh, a bunch of clips that 
just simply a quick connect into these holes in here just for a quick, uh, quick pop off easy access again if you have any questions uh, feel free to post your comments and I will respond thank you